Like, I wanna go, but I don't know how to leave you here. In my mind, I'm like, okay, but I mean, should we leave you? My nails look very bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's bad. I have to um, do my nails, but good morning. You're welcome to what is going to be a weekend vlog. But it's Friday today. I have an appointment with, um, I'm going to go get my Linus permit, my driver's Linus permit. And I know that I got that last year, but I let it expire. I let. <laughs> I can even get my words out. I let my learner's permit expire without even getting my actual license. That's what happened. So I have to do it all over again. I have to apply for my learner's permit, do my road test, and then I can get my license. But this year I'm serious about getting my license. And that's why I'm going to go get it in January. Because, you know, I have to take care of things by myself this year. Um, no more driving around, you know, passenger princess. I think that era is done because in Pharma is about to start daycare going into this coming week and hubby is working. I work as well, but my schedule would allow me to take her and go and pick her up. So that's kind of like what our life is going to be looking like in the next few weeks. I'm not even kidding. Um, but today we just have a few errands to run in town. I have to go to um rmv to get my lens permit and then we're probably gonna go to um restaurant depot to buy fish i need some fish at home i don't have any um you know i don't have any fish ni nambia so i have to go and grab some fish and then we'll come home not so much around so i'm not gonna lie oh and then later in the day i have to go and braid my hair i'm gonna i have an appointment to do some cornrows so we're going to do that. I finally found someone, I think not so far away from me, that does cornrows. I'm, she hasn't sent me her address yet, so I'm yet to see. But the person who did my pedicure, I don't know if you guys remember, but there's a lady who did my pedicure that I said that I found in the neighborhood. Yeah, she recommended her friend who knows how to do braids and stuff like that. So I'm going to go to her. She's just going to do some cornrows for me. Um, for my wigs, this is nothing serious, just cornrows for my wigs, and then later, you know, we'll decide on what braids I want to get. I was talking to her about it later, I will decide that I want to, you know, what braids I want to get. But for right now, I'm doing cornrows, so we're going to do that later today. I have to leave home at 11. 
she's actually right in my area she just texted me she's actually right here uh, but I have to leave at 11. It's 10.26. I'm going to chill for a little, you know. Also, I just want to say exciting. Skinny Girl in Transit is back on YouTube. If you know, you know. Skinny Girl in Transit on Indani TV. My favorite, hands down. And she's back on YouTube. They have season 7 out. So if you're a true believer, you probably want to check it out. But I'm just going to watch that for a second. And then I will see you guys when... It's time to head out, okay? And then I'll show you my fit also. It's just very basic. I'm wearing this top from Amazon. I love this top. It's spandex. And I love just, you know, how comfortable it makes me feel. And today, the theme is comfortability over everything. So, I'm wearing this. And I'm wearing these joggers. I mean, these joggers right here. Oh, my camera angle is bad. <laughs> but this is what they look like. Also from Amazon. And yeah. <laughs> So, I'm just going to throw on some jackets and, you know, razzle-dazzle, and then we'll head out. But I will see you guys when it's time to go, okay? All done I have my Lennis Hemet I mean I don't entirely have my Lennis Hemet I do have to write the exam so um, yeah I do that when I get home but we're gonna go to restaurant depot it is very far away let me tell you guys it's like an hour away from here but we're gonna go and when we get there we will do some shopping okay <laughs> This is restaurant depot if you are looking at doing like wholesale grocery shopping you should do it there but then it's also membership only so shout out to you know shout out to the family for getting us sorted um we're gonna go into um we're gonna go inside and just buy some few things so let's go can a nigga catch a break this is look at banana this whole banana is seven dollars so just so you know <laughs> This is the cold room and it's so cold. And look at spinach. Look at how big spinach is. Oh my god. I don't even see the price. <laughs> Everything is crazy. You know, okay. I price shopper. Hey, half of this is like five dollars. Not even half. Like just like this. It's like five dollars. <laughs> Like this is insane. It's so cold here, but we are determined. <laughs> Look at that. We have some dumplings. I'm gonna go for vegan dumpling. And the price is twelve dollars for all of that. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting to me. <laughs> guys i'm back home i am back home and the excitement in my heart when i tell you that restaurant depot has pretty much everything okay like everything so the shrimp and everything that we bought these are some mussels um this is a whole bag of shrimp this entire thing is like i think it's like 11 dollars yeah but i usually would buy like half of that for 13 dollars Yes, I buy half of that for $13 when I do my regular grocery. And then this is calamari. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is calamari. It's a mixture of calamari and squid. 
um, I love seafood so anything seafood I'm buying it and then this is some mussels you girls you know you know that I've been I've been liking mussels lately so I had to re-up on that and there's still some more in the fridge let me just say that oh god and then the spinach the spinach that we picked up we picked up some octopus as well and then this is another bag of shrimp just so you know um it's another bag of oh this bag is bigger like, look at this bag it's really big i was just eating some banana because i'm so hungry <laughs> um but uh we have some rice i got this whole bag of rice for 18 dollars okay and then i have some brisk iced tea we like that what i do want to show you is the fish the fish is very good you guys look at the box of filet like i have a whole box of filet a whole box that's insane and then i have some tilapia in another box let me open that but this is not filet tilapia it's an actual um, whole tilapia so is some tilapia and i think this one comes in a pack of like 10 i'm sure but this one comes in a lot the, the fillets a lot so oh you guys when i tell you how impressed and happy i am with this entire purchase i had to get like two bags of the rice so and then we have some fabloso this entire fabloso like gallon it's literally ten dollars so hey guys i'm back home okay so i'm back home um from the conro lady this is what we did she did the cornrows and then she did this down because i told her that i'm gonna be getting a wig with a leave out so i mean like a u-pat wig and then i would need to leave some of my hair out so i just asked her to do it like this and then leave some of the hair here for me so that's what she did and i just want to say that i can very much see the damage of my hair like i can see because my cornrow goes all the way back <laughs> like it goes all the way back see hey god my hair is like proper damaged <laughs> like it's proper damaged and i'm even i'm happy that i finally found her because her energy oh her energy is so beautiful i feel like my camera is blare like can you guys see me or it's blurry is it just me or it's blurry is it just me or it's blurry i feel like it's blurry i'm sorry if i'm blurry trust me my eyes are bad i wear glasses so sometimes whenever like sometimes things like that like blurry things and like dark rooms or like low lights they just really bother my eyes so sometimes sometimes i look on the camera and it's good and then when i go to edit i find out that the whole clip is bad <laughs> i don't know how but forgive me because my eyes they are not the I, like i don't have bad eyes like i've always never wanted to say that i have <laughs> i wear glasses or anything you know but i do wear glasses i can't hide the fact that i wear glasses um but it's not something that's you know it's bad 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 okay so forgive me if this entire clip turns out blurry because my eyes tells me that it's okay <laughs> so i guess it's okay um but i just want to say the lady was so nice her husband is actually ghanaian so she has like a little bit of ghana vibes in here which was so cool because you know it's always a vibe meeting someone that you know and like you know just someone that feels like home basically that's just what it is so um her energy was nice i'm all about i am all about energy when i tell you that i am all about the energy you're giving me and you know if i'm not feeling the energy i would probably never come back <laughs> and it's so easy for me to do i'm not gonna lie and i guess it's also a huge part is also because i know how to do my stuff you know like i know how to do my hair no matter how bad my cornrow is it will survive under a wig so it's not really like a big deal for me i do my nails i do my pedicure like i actually love doing it only on days when I'm tired that I would outsource so <laughs> um, I really don't have a problem doing like my beauty maintenance routine and stuff like that so if you don't have a good energy I'm sorry I'm going I'm going home and never coming back you're gonna get that first hairdo <laughs> but that's it and I'm not gonna come back so she was such a nice vibe you know we chatted a little well 
it was just nice the vibes were just pure vibes and I liked it so I'm definitely gonna go back um, because why not and we we're talking about some movies and stuff like she's into movies and stuff also so she does this new Nigerian movie on Prime Amazon Prime that I didn't even know about she apparently had watched it like three times and she's Dominican <laughs> mind you she's Dominican her husband is the only person that's Ghanaian so the whole Ghana vibe and Africa vibe has entered her spirit <laughs> watching nigerian movies and everything and recommending it to me so um yeah it was a vibe and i just wanted to say today has been so eventful i've been running around but in a good way you know i have gotten a lot of things done today my driver's permit um that application has gone through i just have to take my exam um i did um, you know the rounds that I had to do I had a phone interview or appointment that I had to do for my daughter's daycare Which I did and everything went well. So it's like today has been so eventful I've been doing so much riding around but in a good way and I don't even feel like exhausted or anything So I'm just really happy with how today has went. Um, you know with how today has gone down um, But honestly at this point, I'm just doing the last bit <laughs> come on to sleep i'm just gonna go chill with my husband for a little bit trying to see eight something right now oh it's nine it's 9 24 it's 9 24 so me and hubby i'm just gonna go chill i am gonna go continue watching the movie um that she was she was showing me when i went there it's a nigerian movie it has all the you know it has good people so it's nice and you know nigerians are really good when it comes to movies so i always give it to them um so i'm gonna keep watching that but currently i'm watching griselda okay you guys know i always like to put you on what i'm watching and um the trust ceremony the trust on netflix i know that chantelle is watching that so shout out to you girl it's nice i'm sorry that i spoiled it okay i will try as much as possible not to spoil anything for you guys again because you guys actually won't watch all the things so let me not be a bad friend and be a good friend um but the trust is nice i finished watching that and i'm currently watching griselda on netflix it's um Espanol, Espanol, okay. Oi, papi, <laughs> está bien. <laughs> Oi, papi, está bien. <laughs> yeah, I am that type of person. I watch everything Chinese, everything. As long as it's nice, I'm gonna watch it. And Griselda is nice, so that's what I'm currently watching. But I am gonna go chill, relax. And I ate some seafood. I didn't really show you guys because I cook with you guys almost every day. So sometimes I'm like, ah, let them just rest. <laughs> let them rest. <laughs> so, but I made some seafood with the calamari and everything, the shrimp and everything was so good. And we had that with a side of rice. And my husband had that with a side of filet. So that was the situation with dinner. But it's all done now. I'm going to go to bed and i'm grateful to say that we finally have someone that's going to be taking care of this hair <laughs> and for good this time i know whenever i say it, it's like i never go back but this time i'm going back okay she's good her energy is nice the vibes like there like she actually does everything that i want in a hairdresser she does wig installs sewings like literally everything so and she's like three minutes so it's perfect for me and she's a vibe so i'm gonna keep going back um but yeah, that's my cue. I gotta go. Okay, this is the corn roll. This is just like an extra piece poking out here. Even though I don't like why it's po like why are you poking out like that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. And on that note, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, good night. Guys, my bad. I totally forgot. We received a new package from I think L'Oreal. Let me just grab that really quickly. So when I was going to do my cornrows, I just realized that this was sitting outside. And so let's see who it's from. It does say it's from L'Oreal, so I think it's from them. <laughs> I think it might be from them because who else would be sending me something and using L'Oreal's name if it's not them? <laughs> it's another flower bomb perfume. Oh, you guys are so sweet. It's from my Victor and Rolf family. This is so perfect. They have another. Oh, this is so gorgeous. They have another um another drop. 
and the first one that I have is flower bomb something something <laughs> and this is flower bomb tiger lily I think the first one I have is just flower bomb I think it's just flower bomb really but this is tiger lily it's so excited oh, this is nice I mean I have to take it out of the box but low-key a huge part of me is like do you want to film like a cute little video for them on your Instagram what do you think I think I could do that right that's what I'm thinking that's why I'm not opening it but eventually when I do open this you guys will see what it looks like it will look like my same flower bomb just with a different name their packages are always the same um, their bottles their perfume bottles almost always almost always the same <laughs> always gonna look like that um, but just this one has different notes apparently oh thank you so much it's launching on February 1st so so yes, I will do a video for them. If it's launching on the fest, it means that it's not out yet. So I will do a video for people to know that it's coming out and that, you know, it's Valentine's. People should maybe get some for their f um, personal person or whatever. <laughs> oh, but this is lovely. I love perfumes. Let me just say that. I love perfumes. I just have, you know, the ones that I got for Christmas from YSL. Those ones still smell amazing. And the little, little bottles. I have those ones. And I have my flower bomb. And I have some two other perfumes. I have this particular perfume, Blushing Baby. I don't know where it's from, but I got it from Marshalls and it smells amazing. I use this as a part of my everyday scents. And like sometimes when I'm going to bed and I feel like I want to be extra, I just put some perfume on me. Um, and then I'll just use the flower bomb and the other stuff when I'm going out, but I am so grateful every time I'm getting new perfume without having to buy it and I'm so grateful. This is, this is really good. This is really good. So we'll do a quick little unboxing on my Instagram. So definitely look forward to that. And with that being said, if you don't follow me on Instagram, this is the day. This is the day. <laughs> Why don't you follow me on Instagram? I respect everybody's decision is what I always say, but I would love if you can follow me on Instagram. My content on Instagram is actually kind of cute, if I'm being completely honest. I It's, you know, short form content, so it's fast and it's giving me, you know, if you want to see more makeup and more outfits, you definitely want to check my Instagram out. It's on here. I usually look like a homeless child. I'm not even going to lie. My YouTube videos, I always look like a fucking homeless child. But... Follow me on Instagram if you don't already do. If you like uh, makeup and stuff, you know, like just beauty stuff, okay? Follow me. Um, but yeah, this is what we have. Thank you so much, Victor and Rolf, always for showing love to your girl. I am so grateful. And yeah, you guys, that's it. I'm gonna go chill, pour myself some wine, and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
it's much much later since the last time that you guys saw me I've been cleaning the whole time oh god damn <laughs> I'm so tired but also I think it's be from the workout that I did yesterday the full body workout that I did that workout took me out and I feel my entire body is it literally feels sore um, so that's also part of the reasons why I'm tired. I managed to, you know, put the house in order. Bathroom is clean. Living room, I did that with you. I did the kitchen. I do have a huge load of laundry that I still have to do. So there's that. Um, but right now I'm about to install my hair. I know. I feel like every week we're doing hair. I did mention to you guys in last week's vlog that my big sister and I were looking into getting some u pat wigs or v pat wigs and we actually did. Or oh, let me say I did. She has is going to go to hair. Um, but, ouch, ouch, ouch. I literally almost slipped. What the hell? Go away from me. <laughs> um, I've been waiting for this, okay? I've been waiting for this delivery. And thank God for Amazon Prime because this was like literally same day delivery i ordered it last night when i was going to bed and it came today <laughs> and i'm so excited this is a kinky yucky straight hair um it didn't come this like straight it came kinky and then i decided to like flat iron to you know make it smoother so i'm gonna I'm gonna install this today with you guys. I wanted to do a separate video for it, but I'm like, mm, there's really no point. I mean, I'm not worry myself. <laughs> I wanna like chill on the hair videos this year and just, you know, care for my hair. So I'm sure all the hair, anything hair, you guys might see here. I mean, if you see a hair video, just know. <laughs> just know that it's me. So I probably decided to record a hair video, but um, let's go ahead and install this beautiful, gorgeous, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this gorgeous, kinky, yucky, straight wig. Let's see how she looks. And it's you, Pat, so I'm excited. I am excited. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is take the combs out, the little clips that it comes with. Because I'm gonna sew it down. I saw a video on Instagram. Shout out to that girl. Do the same hairstyle. She had sewn it down. It looked so well done. And it was a U pat wig. And it looked, you know, she sewed it down to almost make it look like a sewing. And that's exactly what I want to achieve. So that's why I had the lady do my hair for me yesterday so that I can, you know achieve that result so i'm hoping that i'm able to actually achieve that because that would make me very excited um you know and then that way i can keep this hair on for like you know like a good two three weeks ish because that's my plan um just so that i can let my hair rest for a second i've been doing the wigs for a second and you know i'm tired the glues and everything is not healthy if i'm being completely honest <laughs> so I watched her video. I also watched a few videos of YouTube. YouTube University is always doing the things for the girls. So I'm going to take out the clips. Hopefully, it's perfect. Because also because I'm going to be sleeping with this and everything, I don't want to keep the clips in to be like choking my scalp. <laughs> okay. So now overall, this is what you're gonna have. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just. Uh, it's actually. Oh, this is so weird. It's like. It's so weird. I think the size is also really perfect. <laughs> I was scared that it was gonna be too big for my head size. Yeah, I think this is perfect. I have to figure this out. I have to figure this out because, again, it's so different for me. So I feel like I don't know what to do. I'm happy I took all the clips out because that feels so uncomfortable. You definitely want to take the clips out if you're wearing this for a long time. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna figure this out and then I will come back when I'm done, okay? I managed to finally sew the entire head down. I am impressed with what I did because the cap is, it's a little big, I'm not gonna lie. The cap is a little big so I had to like finesse it, I had to customize it basically. I had to use some glue to just basically um, keep the front flat. I'm sure you can see just a little bit of glue. Um, I mean bonding glue. <laughs> if you know, you know. Back in the day, people used to use them and people still use this for quick weaves. So that's what I used. And this is the hair so far. And I see I'm loving the texture of this unit. And because I sewed it down, she's not going anywhere. I am so happy I sewed it down. And I sewed it down so well. Like I sewed it down so well. Like it's intact. I feel it. And because my cornrows underneath is fresh, the hair, the whole entire hair feels fresh. It feels like straight out of a salon. Oh, I love it. And this hair is really beautiful. Can you imagine? This is kinky. Like, it's giving my natural hair. The thing I'm thinking, I'm thinking that my leave out might be an issue. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because I think that I didn't really measure my middle part, so I don't know. I do not know. There you go. You guys, this is what I have. My big, super big forehead is out. <laughs> my entire forehead is out. I feel so exposed, but this is what my hair looks like. It does look amazing. I do feel some kind of way because my leave out hair, right? Here. The hair here isn't just... My hair here is not enough. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know if I don't know how to pass my hair. That's that's what I feel. I feel like I don't know how to like, you know, proper pat my hair to make it look good. Um, but the good thing is it's all the way up here. So nobody will come and be like looking on top of my head. Nobody has any business on top of my head, so that's good. So this is what we have so far. I'm able to tuck hair behind my ears because for me that is a must I should be able to tuck the hair okay and I'm able to do that so mission accomplished I totally love how it looks like how does it look in the back I managed to make it flat you know yeah I managed to make it small I managed to make the cup small because the cup was very big not like very big but it was big um but anyway this is my hair it's done okay the hair is done this is what your girl is looking like it kind of looks like my hair be honest like who are we kidding i know i have to do my edges but because i'm gonna go to bed i'm like i can't be bothered to do that right now i might use some hair oil so i honestly will not do my edges right now i will do it when i wake up in the morning um but for right now this is what we have. I'm honestly thinking that I have some hairspray, some tint spray. I think I ran out of it, but um, tomorrow when I go out to buy, I have to buy a few stuff for for our pair's daycare tomorrow. So when I go out, I will buy there's some tint spray. I will just use it in this area to just you know darken the area a little because I feel like you can almost get, see my scalp. <laughs> Like, do you guys see what I'm talking about? Like, over here? It's not so bad, and I see. Comment below and let me know. Do you see it? Because if you don't, then I'm cool. But if you do, I'm getting a spray. <laughs> but either way, this is how the hair is looking. It's really giving a vibe. Like, what are you talking about? Like, this is my hair. That's my hair. Don't touch my hair. <laughs> anyway, it's late. I am going to do... 
my nighttime routine and just call it a night. Obviously, you can see that I'm feeling myself because the hair is looking good, so I did a good job. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna wear straight this entire week, and then you know, next week I'm gonna just figure out if I want to like curl it or whatever. But I'm having this hair around for a while, so I'm sure I'll play around with it. You guys already know me, even my hair does like. <laughs> 3940 safe <laughs> if you don't know what 3940 is 3940 is literally oh, i'm sorry i can't say it i can't explain it it's bad i'm sorry it's a disability so i can't i don't know i'm not gonna talk about it so i'm sorry um but i'm just trying to say my hair is a little handicap even my handicapped alopecia hair i still like to play with hair so now that I have this, that feels like my hair, and it feels so well done, like the sewing that I did, like, you know, sewing around the edges, amazing, okay? It's staying in place, it feels so secure, like, it feels so good. And I'm impressed with the work that I've done. <laughs> but on that note, I'm gonna go to bed, you know, do my stuff, and go to bed. And I will see you guys tomorrow, I'm so tired, my whole body's aching, like my arms, like, yo, hey. I can't like fitness no it's not a joke oh, I think my body's recomposition or whatever because the way my body's aching it makes no sense like literally no sense but I'm gonna go to bed I will see you guys tomorrow okay I don't wanna be crazy no more every time I think you gonna walk out done but i wanted to show you guys one thing oh i hate when this happens i just hate it i just hate it when it happens anyway so i wanted to show you guys this this is joy ointment um if you live in america you probably would not know what this is but this is from ghana okay my mom put me onto this stuff and this helps with a lot of things but the one reason why um, I started using it was because I was going to high school and my mom just wanted to throw in some feminine stuff for me now this thing helps you to deal with order in between your thighs if you if you have thick thighs if your thighs are always rubbing if you like to wear a lot of underpants and not just panties but actual like underwear then you should probably get this Okay, this stuff is amazing. I like the fact that it doesn't have any perfume like smell, but for whatever reason, it works. I have been using this since high school, and that was since 2009. Can you imagine? 2009. Wait, 2013. 2013. I'm sorry, 2013. 2009 is not me, it's somebody else. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> So since 2013, since 2013, I've been using this product and it's just, I have grown from a high schooler to just a tertiary person. I've moved into, um, what's it called, being a mom, being a wife, and I'm still using it. I'm still using it. It's that good. If you're in Ghana, I would definitely advise that, um, you know, maybe try it out. Try it out. Okay. It's obviously very local it's like ointment obviously you don't expect to get any bouginess with this but it gets the job done okay and it helps to stop things like infections and stuff but you don't want to obviously chug it up the girl you're just using it in between the ties and the areas around um, just to help you with auto control so if you're a man obviously you want to skip this conversation the women here understand what we're talking about so I'm gonna put you on, okay? Don't tell, don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say I didn't tell you, okay? So, um, I put some, I tried straightening my hair just a little. I'm trying to not do so much heat on my actual hair. Uh, but yeah, I'm done, you guys. I'm done. So, I'm gonna go sit down for a second. I'm actually gonna um, go get ready to film, create content, like I said. So, I will see you guys when I'm done, okay?
Hey guys. So I just finished filming two videos actually. Miss Mama is up. <laughs> she is, um, this is what I look like right now. What? What? Who's this girl? I have no idea. She's watching Teletubbies. Just because growing up, I watched a lot of Teletubbies. And I'm like, yeah, all my kids are watching Teletubbies. Like, low-key, I'm watching it too. <laughs> but anyway, I just finished filming two pieces of content. I was just saying that. And um, they're both makeup for one for Instagram and one for YouTube. <laughs> Obviously, I'm feeling myself. What I'm about to do is go cater to his sister. She literally just woke up. It's almost one. Can you imagine? Um, but that's good because it gave me time to film my makeup look. My camera is actually busy because I'm using hair for content. I don't really want to like do too much with hair right now. But my next piece of content might be on Instagram outfits. I will figure that out. I just wanted to check in with you guys. Let you know how I look. Okay. Because I love, love, love this look. Um, this is just a base makeup that I did for you guys and the painting 101 so when it comes out please watch watch with your girl and support and leave a comment okay but um checking in i will come back and check in again later okay hey guys jackie is here um I, I want to unbox something with you guys i do have a new um pot from caraway which is very exciting but also jackie's here that's she's in the background um Let's let me put my camera on my tripod. One second. Okay, guys. So I literally just had to run to town really quickly. Um, the Jackie is here also. Today is the twenty eighth. We have decided. I, I I think I told you guys somewhere last year, but we decided to meet once at least once every month because we both have very busy schedules. Jackie works like crazy okay she's a workaholic <laughs> and i also have my busy schedule my work my family just running around every time so we decided that we'll try to meet at least once every i don't know why i wasn't showing my face um, but we decided we're going to meet once every month at least to catch up and you know like girl time unwind and you know just catch up so today's the day and she's here she actually came in and i was out um, so I just came back but I had to go and get some things for daycare cousin Farapa is starting daycare I told you guys she is officially starting on Tuesday I actually thought it was Monday but the daycare provider um, provider called and said it was Tuesday so my bad <laughs> I was about to be prepped and ready but I'll just chill but I still had to go and grab a few things you know just re-up on a few things that she would need anyway um, just so that during the week i'm not running around so. i'm about to unbox something that i just received from amazon so i can close off my vlog oh this one yes can i open it for you oh i wish i could show you guys what she's doing she doesn't want to be on camera she claims she's looking scruffy because i have makeup on that's what everybody does when they see me with makeup they feel like oh i'm extra i'm not talking about you ma'am everybody feels like whenever i have makeup on I'm extra you know like I literally went to do that grocery that I did and then the lady from the checkout she's like well you look dressed up today <laughs> I'm like okay <laughs> I'm like oh yeah thank you and she's like um I randomly were talking about YouTube and I'm like oh, I do videos for my YouTube and she's like oh that's nice and she wanted to know if YouTube paid and I'm like oh maybe budget budget oh you look dressed. Oh, I don't think it's extra I'm just like I am extra. I know. That's, that's why I don't point. think it's extra. That's why it's me. Because I already know who you are. <laughs> I was like, this is her, but sometimes I see you and there's no makeup and then some days like, like full face. This is hair. Like, extra is me? Yeah. I can't. Okay, so I, I am very excited about this package. This particular one is very exciting. <gasps> you guys! I was supposed to tell you something that happened on Monday. I was meaning to tell you. And let me tell you, my oven caught fire. I don't know if I told you. And I didn't tell you. I had been holding on to this information, waiting, literally waiting to share with you guys. Let me show you. My oven caught fire and the glass broke. Wait, what? 
Yeah. Like the glass broke. What do you mean? Look at this glass right here. It's cracked. Oh my. God. Yeah. Really caught fire? Yeah, it literally caught fire. I was cleaning the oven and I was in the. So you guys, what had happened was, so I was in the office working the whole time, and I put it on self clean. Okay. I timed it just like I always do. Minding my business, helping the customers just like I do. <laughs> and then for whatever reason, mommy, I'm sure you're hungry. I'm sorry, I keep going in and out just because people will not let me talk. <laughs> my live studio audience. <laughs> so I, for whatever reason, I was so hungry. That was what happened. I was so hungry, which didn't make any sense because I had had, I think I had had something in the morning, maybe my protein shake or something. But for whatever reason, I was just so hungry. And then I said, you know what, let me put myself on like a quick BRB. We have something that we, that's what we say at work, BRB, so I'd be right back. <laughs> Only for me to get here to see that my oven literally had fire lit on the inside, like flame, like it was... And then it would the fire i would i was looking at the thing and then it would look like it was going down and then it would just boom again and then i'm like oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness and then in my mind i'm like if this is gas it would explode and my husband is upstairs also working so i'm like okay okay what should i do and then i quickly grab it from a pan, right i quickly grab her and then i came back to look at the thing and then the fire would do it would like it, it was a little fire that kept building little fire that kept building and it wouldn't die down and another thing about this oven once it goes into self-cleaning it locks itself so i'm not able to op open the oven i can't pour water i can't do anything it's locked and the fire is just doing its own thing inside so i kick i run to my husband i'm like babe we have an emergency <laughs> literally this is an emergency i've never been in something like that before and i'm like oh it's good that it's not gas because this thing would have exploded so quickly i call my neighbor downstairs and then i'm like i want you to be aware my thing has fire so if anything i need you to be on standby just in case and then my husband oh god men would always be men because i would have never yeah he, no he didn't like he was yeah. i'm like and then he's like take the baby and go outside <laughs> i'm like i want to go but i don't know how to leave you here in my mind i'm like okay but um, should we leave you do you want to be the one no we have to go together so then i'm like let me call the fire department because this is the situation and I'll, i'm also scared because we've taken out all our little fire <laughs> because that's what people in america do duh <laughs> i know so annoying <laughs> so i'm like if i didn't get hungry I don't know what would have happened and the little my little girl was walking here by herself you know she would come into the office you know say hi to me or whatever I'll feed her and then she would just come out and just watch Miss Rachel you know she was like and then I'm like oh my god and then I quickly came back to tell my husband try pouring water on the whole thing like just pour water let's pour water because in my mind I'm like there are holes here so it, some of the water might poke through because when I'm cooking the smoke sometimes comes out of here and then i'm like okay maybe there's there's a little opening there so i tell him to just pour water just pour water and then he did but i was outside and i came back the, the fire was gone and he was like okay it's calmed down i didn't call the fire department because i didn't want to raise crazy alarm you know but i realized that my glass actually to the oven is cracked so if it had taken like 10 more seconds it would have boom literally it would have literally and then what if my daughter was here mm. oh this would have been bad this would have been bad this could have been bad and i'm so grateful that nothing happened like i can't even tell you guys this is this is such an experience like look the thing is cracked it was so scary it was so scary i'm like thank god this is not ghana one because we only use gas i would tell everybody don't you be just be around don't put on anything and like think i'm going out it's all the way like it's electronic it takes care of itself no it doesn't yeah i i mean i had a lot of grease sitting in the, the oven so i think that was the biggest cause because grease very easily catches fire but also don't trust these things may i always say i'm done <laughs>
<laughs> like I have to be present to be able to use it. I have to be present to be able to. No, I'm not using the. I can't use the oven because once Is he it. Gonna replace it? Okay, guys, let me show you what I have here because it's so well packaged. Sorry. It's from a really good brand. Okay. Kind of luxury. It's a mirror, but I thought that was gummies. It's not gummies, it's oh. a pot. Oh, it's Carole, a... yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know the brand? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my god. This is... I know their box. Yeah, I don't know why she pulled the box. It's just so irrelevant. Like, oh, this is so heavy. It's a roasting pan, okay? Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving is about to be lit. Not with my oven broken. I know Thanksgiving is not right now, but hopefully by then we'll have a new Oh my god! Oh, you guys, let me bring you close. <laughs> Jackie is just looking at me like. Live studio audience. I know she's she said she's the live studio audience. Hi, mama. So the first thing that we have here, right? It gives you like I, I think it gives you tips on how to like clean and keep it safe. <laughs> this is so exciting! And then I don't know. They have some. some <laughs> it's so exciting, Jackie. <laughs> so they give you cute little eraser cleaner. I mean, the African in me is thinking this might not work because you guys know the type of meals we cook. But this is also just a roasting pan, so I might not do so much with it. And because it's from Caraway, I think I'll keep her as a princess that she is, okay? Cook only luxury foods. <laughs> Say hello to the square pan that will round out your kitchen. <laughs> oh my god, the moment, the Ooh, moment. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls have Caraway. Okay, I'm gonna keep my calm, <sighs> breathe. <laughs> but this is the um, roasting situation that goes into the pan. Oh. oh, oh, this is really heavy. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's why it's expensive. Oh, I like that. Oh, the packaging is really, really nice. I am all for packaging, Jackie. Don't look at me like that. I'm all for packaging. Like, sell it to me with the cutest packaging alive, and I will buy it. So this is what the pan looks like. And then you want to go ahead and sit this stuff. I don't know. Take the box off. I don't know where to put it right now. So this is what it looks like. And then, the... I know this is really nice, right? <laughs> I feel like the angle is bad. You guys can't see it well, so let me show you here. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting! This is what it looks like. Ah, I'm screaming. The grown girl in me is so excited. <laughs> the homemaker in me, the cooker in me, the kitchen lover in me, <sighs> the chef in me. Jackie's giving me fun, so I can go on and on and on. <laughs> but I love this stuff. I will leave a link for you guys because sometimes you're asking for links. Um, but this is a good investment if you ask me. Honestly, if you have a home, if you're a big girl, building your kitchen stash and you're looking at investing in like good quality stuff, things that you can carry on to generations, <laughs> Caraway is definitely the brand for you, okay? Not me marketing for them. You guys should work with me, Caraway. Wink, wink. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this is done. So you guys, that's it. I am honestly going to have to end of the vlog right here. I feel like this week has been a lot. Running around, doing stuff. The most adulting week I have ever had in a while. <laughs> but that's good because I got a lot of things taken care of. So I'm happy. I had the biggest care of my life. Not happening again <laughs> till it's fixed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. We have new hair oh who's this <laughs> oh 
fun, but I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in next week's vlog, which I'm about to start right now. I have a whole box of things from Amazon that I have to unbox. I just want to do it here because the vlog is already, you know. So, I love you. I'll see you guys in next week's vlog. Say bye, Jackie. Oh my god. Say bye. Yeah. Oh. Bye, guys. I look like a crazy person. No, you don't. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> when they say she get it from her mama, I'ma say you fuck her right, your body, move this bumper.